The hell? Should I save into a different slot just in case? I didn't do something wrong there, did I? Fairly <laughs> saving into another slot. Um. What? What the hell? Do I need to do something differently? Next, have a final word with everyone. So I may as well have saved into slot one. Uh. Um. So that was an ending that we got, though. The Wait. Power is to be restored. There is only one way. A sacrifice must be made my own <sighs> so this was her plan all along you you knew this was going to happen my grandfather gave his life before me and now I give mine no why didn't you tell us why because if I had you would have stopped me. Of course I would! Forgive me. Please. I never meant to upset you, really. I didn't. You have been so kind to me. It has meant so much. So very much. Now, at last, I can... Say it. And... Mean it. Thank you so much. Gloria, please. You've got to wake up. Gloria! What... what was that? The book usually shows us scenes from the past, but... That was something different, right? <sighs> is it true, Gloria? Is that how this is going to end? I... yes. There is no other way. For the Knight's Nexus to be sealed away, I must give my life. N no Its power is immeasurable. Even with the crystal's aid, the Nexus can only be restrained for so long. At full strength, the crystals can keep its evil at bay for two centuries at best. Fifty years ago, my grandfather laid down his life in order that that strength might be replenished. He did his duty as a monarch of the Musen line. But then the crystals were stolen, and their blessings misused. Now, their power is all but spent once more. Which means another sacrifice. And a lot sooner than expected. And you've known that this whole time? Yes. And I have long since made my peace with the burden I must bear. My life is a trivial price to pay when weighed against the countless thousands that would otherwise be lost. But Gloria... Are we really gonna let her do this? So it's kind of like a Bravely Second New Game Plus kind of situation. In Bravely Second, after the character's lost, I remember you goes up to the screen and asks you as the player, like, bring us back to where this all began, and then the game gives you the option for New Game Plus. And you do New Game Plus, and after you activate Bravely Second, then not only do you come in like with all your gear and stuff like that from your original save file, but the characters actually come in with their knowledge of the entire story from New Game Plus and all the development that they've had up to that point. And then they take action to change the story in New Game Plus to have them actually, you know, overcome the challenges ahead of them instead of fail to them. So it's very interesting in Bravely Second, 
when you beat the m game essentially is really the midpoint and then when you start new game plus it's like you started the second half of the game because they're doing the story over again knowing exactly what's going to happen and taking measures to prevent everything so it seems like this is very much like that situation where it's like oh congrats you beat the game now when you load the save file it'll put you right before the final boss and the characters have experienced doing that like first timeline essentially that other save file as you load back into this completed save file and they're like wait what was that now <laughs> you're making me want to play bravely second it's a dang good game i would say so it seems to be another situation like that except without the new game plus essentially where the characters did indeed experience that happening with you reloading that save file which is very intriguing honestly i can't believe it is Gloria really going to have to die to keep us all safe? Huh. So the book didn't show us something from the past this time, which means what exactly? Something from your future, but from the past of this save file. Because the cool thing about Bravely games is they always tell a story that can only be told through like the perspective of a video game, essentially, which is very interesting. I am sorry, but this is the only way. Come, we must make haste. Um. Um. I think it was all Bravely the Second End Layer, right? Yeah, that's a sequel to Bravely Default, the original. What the heck? Sure, I guess we're doing that. Saving from the exact same place, except now we're, you know, do it. You're ordering it now, jeez. Well, I mean, it's more fun. The story is more enjoyable if you play Bravely way. Default first. Is also the thing though, since it is a we sequel to Bravely games. Default. Like there's Bravely Default and Bravely Default Two here, where these take place in completely different universes and stuff like that. But yeah, it is a sequel to the story of the original Bravely Default. Like it takes characters from the original game and. You know, makes more sense that way. If, yeah, <laughs> I mean, well, very well. Then let us proceed. You took your time. I was starting to get bored. Edna, why am I not surprised? Adele, you actually came. Pretty stupid of you, I must say. Well, I won't be giving you a second chance to escape. Let us pass. I can't do that, sorry. The Knight's Nexus is about to wake up. Oh, I really can't wait. I, I don't get it. Why do you want this? Come on, you saw what happened. Dangle a crystal or two in front of some dumb humans, mix in a couple of asterisks, and BOOM! They go and destroy an entire kingdom. Bye-bye, Nisa. Humans are so... broken. They deserve to be wiped out. Edna, listen to yourself! <sighs> Musa is gone. There is nothing we can do about that now. But I will not allow the fate that befell my kingdom to befall the entire world. If you insist on standing in our way, we will have no choice but to deal with you as necessary. The crystals must be restored to their rightful place. Lots of big talk, princess, but completely misguided as ever. You're not putting those crystals back, not on your life. I'll see that humanity is wiped out, if that's the last thing I... Is that what you really want? Huh? This bitterness, this anger, it, it's not you. The Knight's Nexus is making you do this. Leading you down the path to sadness and hatred. But I know the real you. You shut up. Shut up. You think I'm being used? Ha! I'm the one doing the using! Come, Nexus of Night! 
Unleash your power! Break your bond! So I guess we do the almost final boss thing, Rob. Now with the characters having new knowledge. So now we're doing it again, but with you know, the characters actually having the knowledge of... And it shows the... We've already analyzed her. Interesting. Very interesting. We've come too far to give up now. Hmm. Hmm. So yeah, we're doing the same battle over again, except... You know, they now have the knowledge of... You know, what happens after the battle to potentially change things. Huh. And at this time, now that you've already beat her, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we can do that. No counter, unfortunito. We didn't get the 50% of the skill. Yeah, we can always do a whole bunch of Godspeed Strike thing or bobs. I mean, we'll build a BP and stuff. I mean, we were kind of doing a whole bunch of Godspeed Strike thing or bobs before anyway, but. Hmm. Hmm. So, yeah, we'll stay at. 1 BP with Gloria, I guess, and then we can go ahead and do this. Oh, you're defaulting right now. Whoops, I was not paying enough attention. Yeah, we'll go ahead and fluid stance and then go ahead and do our defender of the people as we do. As one does here. Okay. Yeah, we'll do a whole bunch of Godspeed Strike from here when we get the chance. Ow. Neat, get a little hit, but we are going to need to do the other fluid thingy merbob is the thing another default i mean we can try like the music is so good though we can try see if it does anything and it didn't and it didn't that sucks doesn't it i mean we can cast stuff like this but I don't know what to spell. Um, it's definitely a job I'm gonna have to look into some more in the future. Yeah, fluid flow with Defender with the people will definitely help us hit a little bit more and harder when Elvis is the one attacked here. Yeah, we're definitely not gonna want to do stuff while you're defaulting, I don't think. I don't think so. I mean, counter when status ailment inflicted immune silence. My goodness, I appreciate the follow there, Nexus, sir. Okay, Smackaroo. Nice. Neato. Okay, and then, like, you're vulnerable to lightning and light. We can always do some lightning, thing for Bobs. And see what comes of it. Time for a lot of spells! This doesn't do anywhere near as much damage as I hoped it would. If we didn't have Godspeed Strike, Creature Comforts Adele, how would I handle this battle? You know, without taking. taking like so much extra time and I'm, I'm not sure i understand the thing above there i apologize <laughs> yeah still some decent damage though i don't know if we inflict any status ailments off of that though yeah we don't it's a bit of a shame is there anything that we can use to get rid of slow i don't think so want to want a throwing axe Bonk. <laughs> what? what the heck? Why do you keep defaulting whenever I want to freaking smack or rue you, poke? Oh, that actually does a quite a decent bit of damage here. Be your first try without using Beastmaster slash Thief? No, I just mean like with my current stuff that I have here. And Adele was something completely different. Like, I'm sure I could put something together that would win. But like, 
you know, just with how long the battle is, with how much HP she has. Like, playing it on, you know, a normal level and stuff like that. Like, we should be able to do it without too much time with our full build here. Hmm. Yeah, I could always throw something like that together, but, you know, I wasn't exactly planning on doing this much grinding before. Thanks, there we go, that's pretty nice. Ow. And that's what happens when you attack Elvis. Ow. So rude. Yeah, the crazy debuffs are pretty insane. Okay. So now we can go ahead and do this. This is what we do. Nice. Yeah, let's see how you deal with the freaking damage cap without that one skill. Oh, you have so much BP, Elvis. My goodness. So yeah, I can go ahead and do Fluid Flow. can go ahead and do a reprisal. can go ahead and try one of those. And go ahead and do a Defender of the People. Have fun. I don't know why the audio skipped a beat. I don't know if it's my capture card or if that's a game being dumb. Or what it is. What it even is. Well. Are we now? Are we about to win as your true power now? You're too over level 4 accidentally grinded for the good weapons that drop from the overworld bosses. Yeah. I mean, we're definitely very over leveled here as well. Like, I can't imagine dealing with this on, like, you know, normal levels kind of stuff. You know? Well, time for a whole bunch of numbers. <laughs> time for a whole bunch of numbers to appear and stuff like that. Okay. The spirits not heal the silence. Well. Nice. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do another one of these. This is what we better do to be safe and stuff. So we can always go ahead and do our fluid flow as we do. And then, I don't know, do a couple of these and then do our good old Defender of the People as we do. I mean, you're literally talking to someone who did it on normal semi-average levels with normal mode. Yeah, but every time I talk to you about this game, you're like, oh, I didn't struggle until like the end game is the thing. Oh, you struggled with chapter one bosses? I totally didn't. Yeah, I never really ran into any difficulty at all until, like, endgame. Like, <laughs> you don't count, Guzma. No, what? Hold on. <laughs> I don't know how the heck you got through all the things like chapter one at, like, semi-normal levels without hating life like I did. <laughs> you know? <laughs> My goodness. I think it was around 70s, I don't know. Yeah, it turns out this isn't endgame. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And also, I hope you don't take offense to, like, anything I said. I'm, like, trying to poke, like, playful fun if it wasn't evident. I'm trying to, like, meme around and poke playful fun. Oop. Okay. This is the same thing that we saw before. Did something bad happen to the Dark Nexus way back when that it can never forgive and never forget? Is the sound effect gonna cut out again? <laughs> it still does! Oh my goodness. This game is so good in so many ways, but so unpolished in so many other ways. Like, what the heck? But yeah. True a game is when one starts grinding for the ultimate weapons. I don't doubt it. I believe ya. Hmm. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's a-okay. Yeah, just keep on building up BP and such. Is the thing. Oh, you're gonna be doing some crazy things in a hot second. You're gonna make us weak to, like, all the elements. The same thing that Aerie did in a hot second, aren't you? So, I mean, we could always, you know, do this in anticipation. Potentially. Because you're about to do your crazy thing. To the point that I'm gonna default with Elvis. <laughs> Instead of doing Defender of the People, because you're just gonna hit everyone anyway. You know? Probably. But I think that's very interesting how a lot of these things are based off of, like, things that Aerie does. Like, both of the music and, you know, making it weak to, like, all elements. 
Okay, nice. Ow. I'm honestly surprised that didn't kill Gloria. We did have the re-raise there at the ready in case it did. Okay, so now you're open and we can go ahead and Godspeed Strike. And this should be it as long as we, you know, survive until the second hit of Godspeed Strike goes through. You know. Okay, booby bop. Yeah, that'll kill as long as we just live. Literally all we need to do here is live. So, you know, we can always... Just, just live. Just live. Also, I guess it didn't really matter that, you know... We had three people knocked out at the end of last battle since we didn't gain any experience anyway because it was the final boss of that ending, I guess. There, we're fine. Yeah, you're dead anyway. We'll top Gloria. We didn't have to do the whole party thing. Oh, that'll top up Adele to her overheal thing, Bob. anyway. Well, just live this. Just live this and we win. Right? We just need to live this. Nice. Elvis really doesn't like being attacked. Woo. How has the second hit of God's Beach Strike not gone through yet? What? What the hell? What is going on here? Um, hold on a hot second. The fact that she's ultra fair makes you think that it was further inspired by Sephiroth? Maybe. My oh my. Well. Hmm. <laughs> That's an interesting theory there. Nexus, sir. There we go. Now we win, right? For the second time. Edna! Don't come any closer. I'll kill you! Never thank you. At last. I like you. I love you. You're too late. The Nexus is awakening. You're too late. Is it over? Aye. Sure seems like it. Gloria! Why are you so cold? What have you done, Lassie? If the crystal's power is to be restored, there is only one way. A sacrifice must be made. My own. <sighs> so, this was your plan all along? You... you knew this was going to happen? My grandfather gave his life before me, and now I give mine. No! Why didn't you tell us? Why? Because if I had... You would have stopped me. Of course I would! Forgive me. Please. 
I never meant to upset you, really. I didn't. You have been so kind to me. It has meant so much. So very much. Now, at last, I can... say it and mean it. Thank you so much. Gloria, please. You've got to wake up. Gloria! Gosh darn it, I screwed up. We got the exact same thing again, and I don't know what I mean. What I do. Like, um, but Mortis asking, do you have to lose to Edna? That is a very good question. What if we lose to Edna? What if? Because that is actually a very good question. Is it just a game over? Okay, so we can skip the credits there. I thought the characters would stop glo- She must be dreaming about running or something back there. Oh, come on. So, yeah, whatever. It'll be the same freaking thing. Is the thing, anyway. That is a very good question. Because... Tip down? Do I just have to go down and leave this place? I'm very curious about, you know, losing to... What if everybody was just like... I don't know. I don't know, hold on. We're gonna try the first thing we're bump first. <laughs> Let's just all do this temporarily. That's what we're overloaded, who cares? Oops, gosh darn it. <laughs> Here we go! Is this the answer? Look, we're freaking fashionable now. Gosh darn it. Wait, is there specifically some way that we want to go down in style. What's Hellblade look like? That's spicy. Do we want to go down in style in some way? Like, what would be the way to, like, style down? We could all be dragons. This is what we could be. I do kind of like the dragon look. What if we just all rock out the freaking... Just for fun. Just purely for fun. Sure. Uh, yeah. I am sorry, but this is the only- We're all completely unequipped dragons. Well, we're gonna try <laughs> Um... No, we can't Freelancer because Freelancer has the second ability of, uh, buff all your stats based on how many classes you've mastered, and I've mastered a whole bunch of thingamabobs. So, like, if I do Freelancer, I'm gonna be freaking buff as heck, and I don't want to be buff as heck. <laughs> I wanna see what happens if I just die. You know? Is it Edna would make the Nexus stronger if you think about it? Yeah, if it's not just an immediate game over. Like, the Nexus would get away and stuff. Falcon Punch! Punch! Counter physical attacks, but you didn't do anything. Punch! Here we go! Punch! Ow! Punch! That's for Dokio Gloria! Punch. Yeah, it's time to get serious. Here we go. <laughs> Come on. I just noticed all the freaking goopy stuff dripping. Ow. Okay. Is it just a game over? The a special for style. I guess it's just a game over, though. Let's face it, that was a good idea, though. Like, if something happens if you lose Edna, that was a good idea, though. Darn, it wasn't the answer, but it was a good idea. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can figure it out. Like, it hit this point where you still like to figure it out for yourself. I just want to know the answer of, is this the point that stumped you, Guzma, where the answer was you had to do, like, some insane, like, line of things like Octopath Traveler? Hold on. Hold on, a hot ticker. Where are you going? to find another way to end this. But there is no other way. Your grandfather and Sir Sloan seem to think there was. 
I have to believe they were right. Wait, the book? Maybe there's something in there that can help us. My time to shine, is it? Right so, let's have a wee look-see. But you can't read it all yet, can you? I... Uh, let's see now. Um... <sighs> Fine. Guess there's nothing else for it. Time to visit Fairy Town. Fairy Town? You mean... My sister found out about the Knight's Nexus before she left Magmel, right? Maybe we can learn something useful there, too. Well, hang about. I didn't think humans were able to get to your hometown. Oh, you'll get there, no problem. As to whether they'll let you in, or me, for that matter, well, that's another question. I left, too. And long enough ago that I can't exactly pretend not to have been corrupted by humans. Hey, come on now. Still, it's the only idea we've got, so I'll just have to try and talk them round. Sounds like we need to hurry. Come on, then. The entrance to Magmel is in the Wayward Woods. What? It's where? You mean it was right under our noses this whole time? Yep. In fact, we walked right past it at least once. <laughs> oh. Okay, then. Time to pay the fairies a visit. The party recovered the crystals! voice of hate it's alive and it's coming home at last <laughs> oh don't worry i won't they'll die every last human will die they took everything from me the people i loved my home I hate them! I hate them! I hate them! And now I'm going to take everything from them in return! Everything! Say goodnight, children of men! Never forget! Never forget! Now come! Destroy it all! The humans, their stupid world, everything! <laughs> The level limit for the freelancer job has been lifted. What? Lifting the job level limit. Keep an eye out for certain special monuments dotted around the land. These allow you to access trials which, if passed, can raise the upper limits of the level to which jobs can be developed. The abilities unlocked by raising jobs beyond their normal limits are incredibly powerful. So the rewards, sorry, are well worth it. Why does my throat do this when I'm talking for if you're up for the challenge? Um, I remember when I mentioned those gates with the level caps for 13 to 15? This is it right here if you go through the archways. So, I guess what we... What we did there before was an ending to the story, like one timeline of events and such. Where you stop the freaking thing Bob from happening. But now, the characters, knowing that Gloria would die from it, decide to find another way and let it unleash itself and it killed Edna, I think, and is coming out and stuff because we took the crystals back and we're not going to seal it away and we're going to find another way. Welcome to Bravely Default stories in a nutshell. If you end up in the stream here in a bit, you should at least go and see one of them, one of the arches. Hmm. I mean, hold on. Let's have a look at Freelancer here. So yeah, the other ones are still level 12, but Freelancer here. I have access to these already? I don't have to level it up more? Is it because of how much time I spent grinding in Freelancer? Because, wait, hold on. To answer that question. 
Yeah, there's the answer to my question. So, you see, Adele here was actually the last person to, like, max out all of her jobs. So, I didn't realize it was going to do anything. When I was grinding everybody's job levels up, and they were done with, like, all their other jobs, and Adele was the only one left who had, like, jobs left to master, I just threw people into Freelancer. Was the thing. And then the moment that Adele had her final thing done, then... We just moved on from there. So I guess it just secretly levels it up. Like, in the background. That's interesting. So, we're already up to level 15 with three of them. And then, yeah, because we didn't really do a whole bunch with Adele here. That is very intriguing. Alright, let's see here. So the last things that we get here are... Wish upon a star, increase all allies' luck for five turns, even more effective at night. Doubles the potential effects of stat boosts received. Huh. And Mimic. Repeat the most recent action performed by the user or an ally without expending HP, MP, BP, PG or items. So for free, do what somebody else just did. Meaning we can in theory like Mimic Godspeed Strike. Adele level 15 Beastmaster. Yeah, so I guess everything in theory can go up to level 15 if we unlock the things at the arches. Still think the ending of chapter 5 was whack when they went back to Edna, like they completely forgot that Gory was gonna die. What, like when I went back and fought again? Like, after they just established that they know what Glory's gonna do and they didn't do anything to stop it like I thought they would now that they knew what was gonna happen? I'm pressing party chat. The home of the fairies. They hid Megmel away in the woods with a bunch of illusions so that the humans would never stumble on it by accident. That's why they why we never happened across today. Eh? Gosh, I still can't believe it was there the whole time. What kind of place is Magma, Adele? Well, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's definitely different from any human village. It's a little slower paced for one thing. We fairies can't believe how much you humans are always rushing around. <laughs> Try to get through games on your channels already. We really seem like that, do you, eh? <laughs> I never knew. I guess maybe we think about time a little differently. We don't just think about it differently, we experience it differently. Stuff that happened decades ago for you guys feels like yesterday for us. To us, whatever. Which means that things can change pretty slowly. The human world could be completely different, and Magmel would seem exactly the same. It also means that it takes us a long time to forget. Thinking about it, it's no wonder most of us are so scared of you all. Huh? How do you mean? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Huh. Ah, huh. so technically this is where the real end game starts. Yeah, I think we've probably done enough grind. I wouldn't mind checking out one of these arches. We do know where one is with, okay, so we can go to Musa and I assume the place after that would be whatever the freaking fairy place is. I assume. 